Uh, first of all, we'd like to thank you for coming here and speaking with us. It's a it great my pleasure. pleasure. My pleasure being with you this morning. Thank you for hosting me. In this country, we have about close to a million people unemployed, yeah. which is close to 25% of our workforce. Those are unprecedented numbers. Uh, same, by the way, same proportions in Europe, in the United States, and this one. so people's lives were really affected uh, in a very significant way. And as it looks right like now, they will continue to be affected for a long term. So again, you know, proportions. I know it's gonna change everything. I don't know how. Mm -hmm. It's like the butterfly effect, right. but in a much, much larger scale. You know, one of the numbers I saw yesterday, an interesting number, is that about 1.5 billion young people were confined to their homes, most of whom, by the way, are still confined, are still at home due to this uh, uh, pandemic, which is an amazing number. 1.5 billion young people are at home. I think that brings on all of us the, the obligation to think around us and to see how do we solve community, uh, community problems, how do we solve other people's problems. And uh, I think uh, if you take the big picture out of this example, um, it brings the issue of responsibility. To me, this is about being responsible for the lives of other people, for the well-being of kids, for the opportunities we give to others. The, the pandemic now shows or proves to all of us that we have to think quickly. We have to get serious about solving problems. Uh, the gap that's here, that all the people that are not connected to the internet, they, they kind of don't exist now because... Right. Uh, you know, solving or reducing the gaps, um, providing opportunities, to everybody who deserves and wants to, to get on those opportunities is a good way to, to handle your life. It is also important for a society, for a country, for a nation. Israeli entrepreneurs um, of all ages, by the way, but most of them are young, uh, have provided all kinds of solutions, technological solutions, uh, medicine-based solutions, uh, and other methods of science based solutions, all of which uh, contributed to the worldwide efforts to face this uh, pandemic. And this goes to show that innovation and responsibility can uh, provide uh, the, the actual foundation for global solidarity. I think that social initiatives and on the human level, keeping every like looking around us and, see, and seeing who needs help is extremely important and like acknowledging our hardships and our pain, but also lo looking around and seeing who needs help. So, you know, there are all kinds of uh, implications, all kinds of influences that this disease has, um, has brought uh, around us, which is uh, one of the things I think will be an outcome of this. We are all going to be hopefully much more appreciative of the world we live in, of nature, of how we need to keep this world. And this would actually be the, the duty of the young generation. So they should come back to you and I hope that you take your own lessons from this disease.